The holidays are a time to feel and create joy. And what could be more joyous than the look on her face as she unwraps a stunning new jewelry piece from Blue Nile? How about getting 50% off your purchase? Blue Nile offers premium quality, priced below traditional retail. Their online experts are available 24-7 to answer any questions and make sure you've picked the perfect gift. For a limited time, you can get 50% off at BlueNile.com. That's 50% off at BlueNile.com. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Previously on Roll Britannia. What are you doing here? Put your animals away. What do you mean by animals? I've got no animals here. These. I coast them on. Automatically turn into Kef. I'm a dragon Kef. I like invisibility. And I can fly. Gallop, duh. Boulder, like creature with stumpy appendages. Are you here for the big tournament? Yes. It was just here. What's happening? The hot air balloon's gone. Sounds like subtle to me. <laughs> what would I know? Emperor Kef. Barry. I thought it would be fun if we lick the trophy. Don't tell anyone I let you in, all right? Hey, Kef. What is it, Barry? It's gone yet. I'll smack him in the face with a bottle of pump. what are you doing? Stop it. We need to find out where the trophy is. How can we do that? We've got to search the place. An alarm begins to sound. That's our cue to go. Jeff, um, grab that trophy, but make it invisible. This trophy? Uh, Derek, do you fancy grabbing that trophy? What happened to Jeff when he grabbed it? Felt really radiant for a moment, hit a wall. What last chance, then? You now have the trophy. Catch, give me Bob. Maris? I'm not coming out. Right, let's go. Do you still have that light? Right, we're out. <laughs> It's that kid again. Let's get him. What the hell's going on? Maris, I need you, buddy. I hope you're in there. Derek, what's going on? Just got to survive and get the hell out of Basically, here. Basically, Maris, mission complete. Hovering over the top of the balloon, shoot the Toasty McToast face slighter. Incoming! It starts to drop onto Derek. Oh, fuck. The Guardian Nugger. Eyes up, Maris. Kef. And Derek. Um, yeah. You vanish. What the fuck? Leaving just Jeff. I'm all alone again. A bright white light bursts forth. <laughs> And you feel yourself beginning dun, to grow. Dun, 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 dun. All caught up. Good. Let's get back to the action. The only sensible thing is to jump straight back into I it think because, we'll well, to. I mean, we left it on quite a cliffhanger last time. Maurus mm. um, <laughs> was dead. Derek was dead. Keth was dead. Am I dead? Uh, everybody's dead. Oh, shit. Dave. Oh, no. <laughs> everybody's dead. <laughs> and now here comes your new characters from Roll Britannia. I, I'm going to play Jeff the Baker. <laughs> <laughs> And Jeff, the uh, candlestick maker. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to run a shop for a while. Yeah. Uh, you open your own branch of IKEA and uh, meatballs occur. Well, uh, yeah. that's just we do need a book. They don't actually as have well. chefs at IKEA. You know that. They just grow them there. <laughs> Growing meatballs. What? You should see him roaming the, the fields. Meatballs. The fields of Sweden. Yeah, yeah they're, they're free range meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Guys, those when are when we last played, you were all dead, apart from Jeff, who uh, had started glowing mysteriously and bursting forth with glorious uh, and light, and his shape was growing and changing. Oh, steady! Oh. And oh. Maurus is on a boat, and mm. Derek is alone in a Neverwinter. Uh, Keth is lost in the woods, like Little mm-hmm. Red Riding Hood, and. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maurus is like uh, pie. Yeah, I'm mm. like I'm like little red road van hood. <laughs> yes, in the streets of Neverwinter. Uh, he's got your man yeah. back with you. So I didn't think we'd say the word road man in this. <laughs> this light that is emanating from Jeff is growing, and so is your 
shape. You're, you were this sort <laughs> of cat size <laughs> penis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it, I can't it take it. Let, let, let's set the line up. Hold on. Let's be <laughs> fair. Maros, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set you up this morning. This light is growing a lot, and so is your penis. Worth it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Um, Moving on. <laughs> so, Jeff, you were saw this cat-sized figure before. Yeah. Now you're a hog-sized figure. Booing, fair, you know, butterfly-winged Anything's dragon. Um, yeah. I mean, this new shape is... It's bigger than that. Is it bigger than a dog? Because I want to be bigger than it's, David. It's bigger than a dog. Yes! What kind of dog? Any kind of dog. Any known dog. I'm... It is bigger than that. Okay. Let's go with other... Is it bigger than a horse? It's bigger than a horse. Um, okay. Didn't expect that rhino. to be a yes. Um, how many hands is yeah. Jeff? <laughs> um, I, I'm not... Um, hold on. I'm going to have to Google how many uh, how many feet a hand is. Uh, well, the hand's not a foot. A hand, what hand, a, a hand. sentence that is. How many feet are in a hand? <laughs> Boom! And Google explodes. <laughs> hold on. Here we are. Right, ready? Mm. Ah. I'm doing this now. We've, we've, st- we've oh, gone God. down this road. We've committed. How many feet are in a hand? Oh, God. His phone's smoking. His phone's smoking. Oh, one hand is four inches. That I mean... That didn't actually help me with my conversion, but thank you. So three feet. Um, hey, Siri. Three, 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 so three hands are a foot. <laughs> three hands and a feet. <laughs> three feet make so, a yard. One hand um, equals 0.33 feet. Yep. How many, bar- how, how many barleycorns in an inch? <laughs> so you've got three um, feet in a hand. No, three hands three and a feet. <laughs> Who came up with imperial measurements? <laughs> three feet in a hand. That's three three hands and, hand and a feet. Unless it's a person, I don't know how many it is. Got, yeah, what fresh hell have I created? There you go. <laughs> You'd expect a Google to break down, but we have. It's three hands and a feet. So how many feet to... Uh, well, I mean, how, look. how many feet high? And, and then times it by three. How how many feet do you think an elephant is? What? Four, four, four feet. He's high. never going to turn back now, is he? He has four front feet left, front right. <laughs> no, back uh, left, all right, yes, back thank right. you. How many feet tall <laughs> do you think an elephant is? To the shoulder, fifteen. Where you measure a horse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the shoulder, twelve. How many? Yeah, an African 15? elephant, let's say, not a European one. Okay. <laughs> or even in you get, or, are you I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie the difference of country and origin of the elephant isn't really making much difference here I'm guessing at 15 for an well elephant. they're different sizes 15 feet yeah it's bigger than 15 feet oh shit 30 feet what? Uh, it's not quite 30 feet it is 29 feet, feet tall this shape Oof. and it seems 66 hands for those counting 66 <laughs> hands ladies and gentlemen yes. uh, <laughs> seems spiky in nature not not spiky like a porcupine might be but spiky more like I want you to think I, I want you to think um more sort of stegosaurus sort of spiky quite spikes. chunky spikes Ooh. yeah in fact I want you to picture in your mind do you remember the, quills, uh, like do, do, do you remember seeing the movie from the uh, from the late 90s and early noughties um what was it called Godzilla that's the one yeah. yes the, you know, <gasps> the really terrible one is I that want you to picture monkey? those kind of spines on this on this Ooh. shape that is emerging from this light. In fact, I want you to picture a sort of quite similar sort of face to that as well, no. with probably a comparable number of teeth Fuck. appearing um, and sprouting from this shape. Two arms with sharp talons. Are they tiny? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, no, are, they're not. They're they quite, quite lengthy. And some powerful, sharp back legs and a long, spiny tail. And some fairly minuscule butterfly wings. Uh, <laughs> like the caterpillar in a bug's life. I'm yes. a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> yes, oh, exactly. Going like to that. a party. Um, and as the light begins to fade, we see now, standing in this scene, a monstrosity of a figure. Armoured and ferocious looking. And, Jeff, um, I would like you to please uh, open the monster manual to page uh, 286. Open it to page awesome. Uh, <laughs> of course, I'll just pick that up here and rifle through these uh, pages of the, the official monster manual. Uh, the monster manual. Yep. Yes, of course. Um, <laughs> and because ah. yours is digital, uh, <laughs> uh, you will find on page 286 of the monster manual um, an Tarask. Oh. 
Wow. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing <laughs> Jeff's Tarask voice. Only this Tarask has tiny butterfly wings. What? <laughs> What's your new voice going to be, Jeff? Uh, so, th- for those of uh, for those who probably aren't uh, yes, aren't familiar probably. with uh, Anne Tarask, um, it is probably one of the scariest creatures in the Monster Manual. Um, that is sort no of not... shit. I'm like, what it can do? <laughs> I mean, outside of things that are sort of arch. Uh, you know, sort of arch demon <laughs> type things. You know, um, in terms of physical the damage, there are a few yeah. things in this manual that would do more bitey, stabby, oh, can I just yeah. slashy, out, kicky damage. That's probably yes. the most hit points he's ever going to have in his life. <laughs> that, that might be more hit points than he'll have collectively. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, I think Enjoy definitely. them while they last. Do I need yeah. to? <laughs> can I leave the island? <laughs> Screw you guys! <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm going ham. I mean, it's up to you. You're, I mean, you know, you're in charge. You are this creature. You, you can try and do whatever you would like to try and do. Have you developed a thirst for radioactive material? <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of quenchable hatred. <laughs> Although you, you do notice f- that in the in the gigantic clawed hand of this uh, ferocious and slightly hilariously winged uh, Tarask. Mm. Uh, is a, you can just about make out a tiny lighter. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like rolling it around his fingers like it's a poker chip. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish Keth could have seen this. Um, uh, well, okay. Fuck. So standing in front of you, <laughs> well, I say standing, um, sort of cowering below you slightly, uh, is the snake-like figure of the Naga and the now quite short figure of the ogre and the two slightly singed and bruised figures of Jesse and Jamie and Maus Uh, in a smouldering wreck of a hot air balloon surrounded by two very, very large hempen sacks uh, containing what appear to be a number of isocosedral things. Cathedrals? (laughs) Yes, cathedrals. It's a bag full of cathedrals. Uh, the Pope is there, and he shits in the woods. What? Hold on. <laughs> oh, James is having a meltdown. Let, don't be alarmed, ladies and gentlemen. Something's we'll, happened. We need to go uh, reset James. Jeff, uh, what are you doing? I'll be over there soon. Um, uh, Can you turn him off well, and turn him okay. on again? Yeah, see, I've try. gone from being able to do not a massive amount, seeming to be doing, be able to do anything I want in the world. I mean, this is God-level creature yeah. right here. Um, thank you for this. So... Um, Let's not abuse this. Too. Pretty much anything you want um, is on the table. I would like to grab hold of the... I want to grab hold of Jesse and Jamie. And okay. as I do so... I, will... I mean, you're going to roll to hit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I better... before, before we go any further, roll to hit. Okay. Um... <laughs> yep. Right. So I've got to have some pluses here. I just don't know what I'm adding because I rolled a uh, five. Have you, got, have you got the stat sheet in front of you? Yeah, you yeah, yeah I've got it. it I've got it here. But... So I'm to hit. Yes. Um, Jesse and Jamie. Trying to. I just want to grab. Trying Jesse to grab Jamie. Jesse and Jamie. So I mean, this would. Yeah. This. This is just. Just. Yeah. Roll. I rolled a. I rolled a five. I mean. Okay. It's a typical. What's your? What's your? Yeah. <laughs> strength plus ten. The strength yeah, plus, plus ten. 10. <laughs> if it's a strength if it's a strength because I'm just going to grab them then 15 okay I mean I would say that um, it's because this will be a claw attack yes um, I mean I, if you're I, trying to grab them with your hands yes. I don't want to, I don't want to hurt them yeah that's fine but let's, like, let's say this, yeah. this is a claw attack yes <laughs> okay yeah so it's okay, plus so 19, I get a plus 19 to, hit. to hit so yeah wow. that's 24 yeah. then okay yeah that hits so I've got them in my hands, <laughs> and now I know that they. I'm, I'm at this point. I'm aware that they can't understand me. So I'm going to yep. look down because what will happen now is that a monstrous voice will shout out Jeff Silverbone. <laughs> but I'm actually if but, you try and talk, I'm going to pull them to either side. So I'm not holding them aside my yep. head, and I'm going to look down at the Guardian Naga and yep. the Ogre, and just yep. be like, "Right, I think we should have a little bit of a chat." 
<laughs> you, and I'm going to turn and face towards the snake. <laughs> I'm going to bring back my friends in the next five seconds, or he is getting eaten. Five. <laughs> four. <laughs> three. Okay. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> Two. Don't do anything. Um, your regrets. And he sort of goes, Hiss! and all three, the other three of you, um, suddenly reappear in the places you were. Oh, oh thank God. <laughs> what? <laughs> What is that? Now next. All right, lads. uh, What? Lads, it's me. It's Jeff. Just calm down a sec. I'm I'm on a roll. Question. Sorry, I do have a a, a technical question here. If you're holding Jesse and Jamie, one in each hand, where is the JML uh, Toast Him at Toast I dropped that. (laughs) It's baby piss now, mate. (laughs) (laughs) Can I roll to investigate, see where it is? I mean, you might be able to in a minute. Go on, what's happening? Um, (laughs) I'm still chatting to the the snake. You wouldn't know that it was missing yet. Um, Oh, fine. And the second thing is you are both going to get back in your balls or, again, I'm going to eat you. It's a fair choice. <laughs> uh, roll intimidation. Sick. Um, okay. I'm going to... Yeah. Uh, intimidation is constitution, isn't it? Charisma. Charisma, sorry. Yeah. <gasps> Charisma. Oh, I knew another thing. Nice one. Nice one. This Learning is your second DVD. worst score, so... Uh, 14. <laughs> a 14. Okay. Let's yeah. let's do some actual rolling here. Let's do some D&D. Yeah. Pretty and rolling. Oh! The ogre, Plus a million. Uh, being the dumbass that it is, rolled a natural 20. <laughs> oh my Charisma god. Charisma saving. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Um, so this ogre, the naga definitely just jumps straight back into its psychosphere. The ogre, being a fucking idiot, um, is going to attack you, I guess. Uh, can <laughs> I finish my multi attack? Because if I've used Boot my two claws, my multi attack allows me to have. One attack with my horn. Yeah, it, gets, it lets you attack with every limb. Yeah. I've, yes. So I've used my two claws. <laughs> so at this point, as he didn't do what I'm going to say, can I ogre swallow Ogre is going him? to swing his club in your direction. I would like to swallow the ogre. <laughs> okay, roll to hit. Uh, right, I'm fairly certain. I don't actually think you can miss this unless you roll a one. <laughs> wow. Uh, don't well, speak well, you that's a 19. Plus 19. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah. gonna, just. For fairness, I'm going to check. <laughs> yeah, it's got an armor class of 11, so... Okay. Um, okay. So he gets swallowed. Um, so Excellent. I make a bite attack. He is now... Um, basically... He now, uh, I don't... I don't... He's grappled, basically. So, yes, uh, you inhale <laughs> a, an ogre. Um, and then I guess... I want to headbutt the, um, the basket of... The uh, hot air balloon, just generally out the way, swallowing and just horning. Just on the ground. Yeah, I just want to horn it. For like, Oosh. okay, um, out the way. Roll, roll to hit. Roll Ooh. to horn. That is a nine. Uh, but yeah, I get. I mean, it's I it's mean, a plus horn. nineteen. Yeah. yeah, I know. So um, twenty. Roll, eight. roll damage. Um, oh, it's two d. Ten. Uh, uh, no, it's ten. it's forty ten four plus ten. ten. Sorry, I'm not used to these kind of level of things. I'm also not used to you rolling like actually more than one. <laughs> no, I know good rolls Ooh. and a sick creature. This is could be dangerous. Sounds like you just need to be the most powerful monster uh, in existence. What? 18. He needed high stats to to 19. be better at D and D. So I've got nineteen plus ten. That's twenty nine. He needs to be a godlike creature. Twenty nine. Twenty nine um, piercing damage he- to a basket. Yes. So you attempt to just move this basket out of the way, and it, as you prong your horns, horns down towards this bar- basket, you just smush it into the dirt and utterly obliterate it. Nice. <laughs> and you hear just off in the crowd, you hear Kyle just go, "No, that was my whole business." <laughs> <laughs> um, my granddaddy made that. And then I don't know. I don't want to use my tail. Can I just sort of like? In the sort of you don't have to do you don't have to use your fairy tail, dragon you way celebratory. I just want to w- wiggle it. Just, just do the helicopter. <laughs> yeah, I want to wave it, but I want to wave it 
in an, a, like a sort of upright angle, so I'm not going to be taking out the lads who are. Are just you going back. to wave your tail like the queen waving to the crowd? Yes, <laughs> sort of like a, <laughs> just a yes. gentle, gentle oh, a vertical rotation. Nice. You might yes, say. Yes, I like that. Very British, indeed. To your, yes, to your admiring task. and terrified public <laughs> with butterfly wings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone want to fuck with me? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to make you roll to wave. whirl your tail around. Oh. In fact, no, fuck it. It's D&D. Roll performance. Yes. <laughs> uh, How many buildings will he destroy? Here comes that low roll. Uh, 13. Bring on 13. the one. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. 13. It's, it's a reasonable wave. It, people would recognise it as a wave. Nice. Um, uh, can I... <laughs> Crowd goes... Are we in an initiative? Kef. Oh, very, oh, very, oh, very polite. Kef. Oh. Kef. It says, uh, I think this is your domain now, and I'm going to hold out Jesse and James... Uh, Jesse and Jamie... In front of, is that right? Is it yeah, Jesse, yeah. And Jamie? Yes. Jesse and Jamie? Jesse and Jamie. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to hold them out in front of Keth, but just sort of like, here you go, like they're toys to me. In front. Meanwhile, of Keth. this crowd has seen has seen this gigantic bewinged Tarask appear, grab two orcs, uh, shout Jeff Silverbow, Jeff Jeff Silverbow at uh, a, a naga and an ogre. The naga ran away, and then it swallowed an ogre. Uh, it destroyed a hot air balloon wicker basket and, a man's and then <laughs> and a man's waved, waved, a, waved its tail around. Uh, three people magically reappeared and it held out the two people, two orcs it had captured and also said, Jeff Silverbow, like that. Sounds about right for the start of an episode. <laughs> okay, good, fine. I'm just so we're all on the same page. <laughs> There's a little catch up for everyone who may have not have been following that. <laughs> So, Keth, I guess, I mean, we were in initiative order, but... It feels like the fight's I, a bit I over I think now. Kind of, that's kind of out the window now. Mm. As um, I am the, the initiative only, order. <laughs> there are three remaining combatants, two of which are, I mean... Two seconds. Sorry, let's sorry, be fair. Two I'm just going just gonna to be fair. Keth. Nice There's defense. one of them. How are we going to nope. get that in the professor's machine? Oh, there is another one. That's fair, actually. To be fair. To be fair. Good point. There is another one. I'm not saying I will, Kef, but I might be able to go back in a ball. Um, I'm not. Put it this way: you're going to be the best there ever was at this rate. <laughs> no fucking rolls either way. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately Let or otherwise. You've also already got it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um uh, my 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 trousers were already this wet. <laughs> um yeah, I'm not that intimidated. Uh, it was very wet where I went. <laughs> I landed right in a puddle. <laughs> These guys can't understand me and they're just screaming. Can you stop them screaming? And just I don't know, you might want to talk to them. I don't want I mean, to crush you them. Stop them screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I can crush him if you want. It's just honestly, I don't want to crush him. That feels a bit mean. But they've been a you bit. You could of just dick. fling them off into the distance yeah, if you yeah. really want. To. Yes. What, um, where we are? are there, can I have like an investigation check for any like flowers on them? So. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> uh, eleven. Uh, fourteen. With eleven, yeah, you find a single rose. Oh, perfect. Um, <laughs> I'd also like to find like the the sweetest like. <laughs> Most innocent, eyes full of hope, little child that's gazing up at um, Jeff in wonder. If I can do that. Oh my god, um, what is happening? Okay, y- yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, you can't sacrifice him to please him. A wisdom, also an eleven. Um, you find you find a wide-eyed child, but they're spotty and disgusting. Fine by me. Um, I will. Like sort of and a little st- bit sticky. Stomp over to it. That's all children. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> um, and I will go. This is for you. And just hand him, hand him a nice little rose, and just sit down on the floor really calmly. So you stomped up to a child, went Derek Normal Beard, gave him and a rose, and gave him a rose, and sat down. Yeah, cool. <laughs> next to him, next to the crowd. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I'm just trying um, to calm the child, everybody. The child down. wets its pants. Oh god! Oh no, no, it's okay, lad. There's there's puddles everywhere. <laughs> Don't worry about it. The crowd is what the crowd is shockingly quiet. Just having looking agape at what has just gone down. Jeff, right? I suppose any uh, Kev to have a word. Further moves. 
We're not a threat to these people, are we, Jeff? Uh, uh, what, Kef? <laughs> Kef, say something to him. No one else can understand me, and it just makes me sound like I'm going Jeff Silverbow, and I'm sure that's Easy, terrifying. Jeff. And he's just roaring. He's just roaring. Easy, Jeff. You are terrifying everybody. Right, yeah, you two. That's what Godzilla was. That's all a Godzilla is. It's just misunderstood. Yeah. <laughs> it's there roaring. It's going, please, guys. I'm really friendly, really. I just want to help you. And everyone else hears. <laughs> <laughs> right, Team Shittle. I'll give you a choice. Either my new Icosamon is going to test out his throwing arm with a pair of you, or you are going to release all the Icosamon in these sacks and give back everybody who you've stolen. What'll it be? Do you know who you're messing with? I know exactly who I'm messing with. A pair of fucking losers. Look at you. (laughs) Can I squeeze slightly tighter? Are you really giving me a challenge? Jeff, give them a little squeeze. But don't burst them. I do so. I'm going to turn to the child next to me and go, Oh, I love it when he does this. I tell you Roll what, can... a strength check. Me? Sorry. Yeah. Not. Can I? Well, no. Whilst he's. Jeff. <laughs> oh, me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. If you're doing the squeezing, roll a strength check. Plus. That's fine. Yeah. Yes. That's fine. Uh, whilst, oh, whilst also he says that, can I use frightful presence on the I two of them? I was looking at that earlier. I mean. Tell me what Frightful Presence does. So, each creature of the Tarasque's choice, uh, within 120 feet, which I assume in my hands is okay, um, and they are aware that I'm there, so that's <laughs> You're fine. You're not Mr. Tickle. Um, they have to succeed in a DC 17 wisdom saving throw, or become mm. frightened for one minute, understandably so. A creature can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, with disadvantage if the Tarasque's is in its line of sight. You're in my hands. Uh, ending the effect uh, on its success. So, um, yes. Okay. Um, Could you please have a DC 17 wisdom saving throw? For whom? For Jesse and Jamie. Okay. Just Jesse and Jamie. In fact, you know what? Um, the the little their little uh, Kosamon thing. Meow. Mouse. 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 That's it. Couldn't remember the legally binding name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my house has gone very quiet amongst all of this. This is where this mouse is about to get swallowed. I'm not being funny, but that's probably the best (laughs) roll of three D20s I've ever done. Oh, God. (laughs) Only I can turn into a terrifying creature and not be intimidating. Absolutely (laughs) every single one of them succeeded, and one of them rolled a natural 20. (laughs) Wow. wow. Now you're frightened of them. (laughs) (laughs) Just throw them um, uh, I mean, I'm not going to say that. If it's successful, the creature is immune to fight, frightful presence for the next 24 hours. Yeah. So you can't frighten them. I can't frighten you now. None of them are yeah, frightened by are, me. Which is wow. a weird situation, yeah. given that you are literally holding them like a toy. Yeah. But yes, every single one of them saved. I suppose um, it, means you just can't, it just means they won't be frightened. You know, well, they could still well, inti- I, oh, you know, you could could probably still, intimidate. And Kess would intimidate probably them. sort of like go, you know. I'd say Jeff. Like, okay, it's metagaming, so I won't say it. But I, no. I would have some ideas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, I, I've got some. I just don't know what. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> it's not. It's not who I am, man. I kind of want to just put them down. Um, and like, can I just dump them down in front of Keth aggressively? Like, just. Oh pfft. yeah, same, same. I want to put. I want to put them down as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Are you putting? The, are you attempting to do damage to them? Um, I want to do. I want to break their legs. I don't want them to run away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I want to throw them down. Down. I'm bad. Just there. Roll to hit the ground with two orcs. Oh, a two. But <laughs> you hit yourself. Strength. Is that strength attack or am strength I? Strength plus ten. I would say dexterity because you're. Th- it's a thrown thing. Oh, uh, dexterity is plus zero. Yeah. So it's not a claw attack because I'm throwing them with my claw. Uh, it was. It's not. A, it's not a melee, is it? Your throw. Thrown things are dexterities, are they not? So. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm a siege monster, so I deal double damage on object. Oh, it's objects and structures. Never mind. Damn it. That's cool. You though. do double damage to the ground with the orcs that yes you don't 
somehow you don't hit the ground with them. I miss the ground. They just yeah. you, you, they, bounce they land on your own feet. I was in one of those where I sort of like throw them and they hold onto my thumbs and it's like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Meanwhile, you're like smashing office buildings yeah. and stuff. Yeah, get off. And they just sort of crumple onto the ground instead in a little pile. <laughs> just a bit okay. um, legs unbroken, unfortunately. Gaff, you need to sort these two out. But they are prone, so good news. Sort them out, or I'm going to swallow them like I did the orc. I don't want to do it, but they just need co- incapacitating because they've been nothing but trouble. Speaking of which, um, oh. I guess roll 16d6. Whoa. Pedro, if you snooze that alarm again, I'm going to feed you to Bill. Pedro. Pedro, you didn't wake me up. And now they're all here. They're expecting some wisdom now. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, hello. Welcome, everybody, to the moment with the Master. It's absolutely fantastic to have you aboard our many but mostly filled with mayhem adventures, brave ship Royal Britannia. Uh, it would never have gotten this far across the seven seas without our loyal fans out there. So you deserve an extra special thank you from all of us here in the crew. And it means the world to us that you clamber aboard every week. We, we just we just couldn't do it without you. Duck and cover, everybody. Incoming Roman Celebrity Shutdown! Mm. Interesting. So it seems that football commentator John Motson has been listening in and has offered his assistance to commentate on the battles on Royal Britannia. Well, that's very kind, John then I'd have nothing to do, eh? Now, where's that feathered fiend Pedro? Where are you with that scroll? <coughs> finally, finally. I still can't believe you let me sleep in. Now we look stupid. <coughs> but he's part of your job. You're supposed to be my assistant. <coughs> well, give me the damn scroll and go and get me a pastry to make up for it. Shoo, 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 shoo. <coughs> right, this week's shout-out goes to Mario Siegs, who messaged us through our Twitter account all the way from Australia. Thank you so much for getting in touch. We're really glad that you're enjoying the show. Now, I know you lot are puzzling about what to get your loved ones for last night, but don't worry, we've got you covered. Struggling to get something for Nan? Simple. Be better at D&D t-shirt. What to give your boss? Easy. A Nancy's bar apron. Here at Royal Britannia, we are more than just terrible adventurers, you know. We're personal shoppers as well. Mm. It has absolutely flown by, but it's been a whole week since Tom ripped off his beard for November. It's all for a fantastic cause, and so far he's managed to raise over £1,200, but he's not stopping there. You can still donate all the way through November, sorry, Movember. So if you can spare a penny or two, he'd really appreciate it. Just follow the links on our social pages. Laughing at his fledgling top lip is also encouraged. Now, I know you lot out there will just love having a chat with us, but for those who haven't had a go, getting in touch with the show couldn't be easier. Just search for us on social media, wherever your favourite platform is. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Discord. Have a look, we're there. And if you've got an idea for the show, or you've got a question for one of the crew, or if you just want a D&D natter, we are there for you. Also, if you're feeling really generous, why not do something amazing and take a couple of minutes to give us a five-star review, eh? If your ears are really enjoying what they're hearing, shout it out there on whatever you choose to listen to our merry little podcast on. Not only that, but a kind word from you really helps other great people just like yourself to discover the show. It'll only take a couple of minutes of your time, but you'll have done a really good thing. And one more very important thing, bash that subscribe button otherwise... It'll just annoy Derek and, you know, by now, just how badly he plays with others. Right, that's enough for this week. I've left those four unsupervised for far too long. And Pedro has yet again gone AWOL with my snacks. So, get out of here, you lot. Have you not found that trophy yet? Go! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on there, James. Just before we get back to the action, I want to chip in. Get it? Anyway... Did you know that support for Royal Britannia is brought to you by Manscaped, who are the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. They're the champions of the world. Not only do Manscaped offer precision-engineered tools for your family jewels, but Manscaped have just launched their fourth-generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0, all across Europe. So, having been sent a bunch of stuff from the lovely people at Manscaped, 
I decided that it was time that this buccaneer braved the bush once more. Now, after previous frightful experiences, the jungle was approached with caution. But after the first stroke of the lawnmower 4.0, it was like I was Tarzan, cutting through the trees with ease. This fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. So now I feel confident shaving my boys once more. Plus, not only are there additional guard lengths to customize your trim, lengths one to four, but also it has a super useful 4000K LED spotlight for when a more precise shave is needed. Also, big shout out to the Manscaped Ball Toner. I'm not quite sure what it does, but man is it refreshing. So why not join me, the other Buccaneers, and over 4 million other people worldwide who trust Manscaped? And with this exclusive offer for you, our wonderful listeners, 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code ROLLBRIT at manscaped.com. That's ROLLBRIT, R-O-L-L-B-R-I-T at manscaped.com. Now we can get back to the action. Hang on. That was a large amount of numbers. 16d6. Okay, that's not... Yes, please. 16? Yes. Yes. He did wow. say that number. Um, I did say 16, yes. Where have we, where, where's, where's Maurus, what, what are you doing in all of this? I'm just, just watching in all of... What... <laughs> what shape are you in, Maurus, by the way? I'm just me, because I was... You're in doppelganger shape. I was in doppelganger shape, I think, when nice. I was... Oh, or was I Maurus when I appeared on the boat? Was I me? Or you can't I... have been Maurus. Well, you were Maurus on the boat, but you won't. You can't when see we yourself. Came back, yeah. You came back as well, an Icosamon. Came back as yeah. Icosamon. You're an Icosamon. So I'll just be yeah. Icosamon, doppelganger Maurus, staring up at what's going on in complete disbelief at the size of Jeff. 47. Oh, God. I just realised what you've asked me to roll. <laughs> what was it? Can I, can, um, I, it's, can, it's, can I vomit him? It's the acid damage to the ogre in his stomach right now. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Oh, yeah. At some point, are we going to see a shoo and a red light is going to come out of my stomach? Hopefully. I'm starting to feel guilty now. He needs some Gaviscon, that boy. A <laughs> <laughs> couple of orcish firefighters going in. Great power comes great responsibility, and I feel like I'm... I mean, you're dissolving an ogre. Kef, do something with these two. What do you need me to right. do, master? You just wait there, Jeff. If these two start really messing about, then... Just start throwing them around. Okay, but don't do it. Right, stupid you two. Jeff Silverbow. <laughs> <laughs> right, Team Shuttle. It's time you released all these icons, oh. isn't it? Otherwise, my Jeff here was just going to simply destroy you. You choose. Uh, you'll have to pry them out of our... <sighs> just... Uh... Normally, by this point, we've been exploded or flung into the air or something. It doesn't normally take this long. Welcome to the real world, motherfuckers. Uh. <laughs> I love that you're sat next to a child with a rose at this point, just shouting yeah. that from the sidelines. <laughs> no easy, no easy escapes this time. I don't well, really understand. We can't come back empty-handed this time. I fist bump the guy next to me. <laughs> can't go back empty-handed to who? The boss will kill us. Uh, who will? Who will? The boss. Who's your boss? The boss. Boss. The boss. Boss. You know. Boss Hog. The boss. From the Dukes of Hazard. Just, Who's the boss? He's our boss. The boss of the team. Uh, just give me a minute. Whew. Give me a second, lad. I've That's got... a really big thing. Where did that... I didn't even... Where did it come from? I don't know. Superior Icosum on training, obviously. <laughs> I think I've like, accidentally slipped them something, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> I think In I've a minute. got some broken ribs, Jesse. Oh, no. In a minute, we're going to see just how far he can throw you. Have I hurt them? No, they're fine. Don't Jeff, worry, Jeff. Look ask at that over there. Bosses. Ask where the boss is. Where's your boss? We can't tell you that. He'll kill us. My Icosamon will kill you. He will definitely kill you if you don't tell me the information. Can I, I need to go know. up to Jamie and grab him by the scruff of the neck and Ooh, just him. shout Maurus Tolstoy at him? Uh, you can <laughs> definitely grab Jamie's 
singed team shuttle outfit, yes. <laughs> no one said him, but yes. They. Fat, fat them. Go, well, what would you like to do once you've grabbed it? <laughs> Just, I, I said, shout Maris Toskobble in. Okay. You, you do that. Are you shouting Maris Toskobble? Yeah, because that's the only thing you can oh. understand. Fair. Okay. You do Maurus. I don't, I don't understand what you want me to do with this information. I'm <laughs> trying to intimidate him. Oh, fair. Oh, oh right. Well, <laughs> roll, roll intimidation I, I, then. Know, I thought you were trying to seduce him. <laughs> Did you just take his clothes Bad. off? No. Oh. I, <laughs> I thought you took his to clothes him, off. By, grabbed him by the scruff of the neck and was like, Maurus toss cobble. Oh, I thought you'd gone up to him and asked him to take his clothes off. I mean, he's just been grappled by a Godzilla. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent certain this is the most intimidating thing that's happened to him today. Well, uh, let me roll and find out, shall we? Yeah, but he wasn't intimidated by me, so this is going to be amazing. Yeah. So <laughs> I hope yeah. he's really intimidated right now. Roll intimidation. Go on, Maris. Lick, lick his mind. <gasps> you could find out where the boss is. Well, yeah. Wait and see. I'm going to turn <laughs> yes. to the little boy next to me and go. Sorry, um, my mate's getting involved now, so I'm going to have to run. But it was nice to be here. Fist bump him, and then I'm going to leave. <laughs> Roll to hit. <laughs> Child with broken hand. <laughs> oh, God. All I want to do is do a gentle two, fist that bump. That is 17. Oh, that is. Yeah, 17 sort of intimidates them. Excellent. Um, yes. Uh, that is a, uh, that's a 20, not that. Yeah, a 20 definitely hits for a fist bump. You're fine. And now I want to lick his mind. Little do it, Maurice. Yes. Give him a little rocky wink. And I'll make my way <laughs> the over. The kid goes, Holy <laughs> What is this thing? <laughs> Jamie is um, very fucking freaked out. Jamie feels in a lot of pain. They are uh, wishing that they'd had a better breakfast that morning because it might have been their last one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a surface uh, thoughts. And they it? are wondering where the fuck my house is. Can I go deeper and find out where the boss is? Crazy. Okay, roll what you need to roll to go deeper. I'm going to, uh, as I walk up, I'm just going to go to the lads. Um, All right, Jeff, uh, what's Melrose doing? Braid lick? Probably. Oh, uh, sick. Um, who are these? Oh, yes. No, lick. Uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking amongst ourselves. Yeah. So um, I'm going to go over to the crowd at this point. I just sort of wander over in front of them and be like, boom. Boom. Hi everyone. Boom. My name's Jeff. Boom. I don't mean to alarm everyone. Uh, they all back up quite a lot, and there's a few screams from the back as people are uh, trampled slightly. No, 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 no. Calm down, everyone. Could you just calm down, please? Could everyone please just calm down a second? I'm trying They're to explain running. myself. <laughs> <laughs> they're all they're all legging it across the quad to, the, to get as far away from you as they can. Je- Jeff, you're spitting. Except for the spotty sticky kid. Jeff, you're spitting again. I'm just so misunderstood. Casper! Casper! Jeff, don't worry. Don't worry. Ah! He's, with your, he's with your old body, which yeah. Malrus made a very good point. I'm not sure how we're going to get you back into that machine. Oh, yeah. Fuck. We've still got to go and do that after this. Uh, Malrus, while reading the target's mind, you have advantage on wisdom charisma and persuasion intimidation and persuasion and deception check. so um so yeah but this is like an npc so i would say you could just role play it and see what james wants wants to make you roll well, but you'd have to, oh but weirdly you'd have to role play through keth which mm, would be interesting then he's like connected to his mind i got yeah yeah, yeah, true, yeah if you true, want true, to true. ask him something he's not going to understand you because you're on a cosamon even if even though he's doing it into mentally because Ooh. he's doing Ooh. it mind to mind, and therefore mm. Malrus himself is still an icosamon. But his mind is a Malrus. His mind is Malrus. Ooh, that's a very yes. good point. And Malrus speaks orc. Fuck no, no. Damn it! I, I was so close. Either, so. I was so close. <laughs> ah, but they taught. <laughs> Do languages um... matter in the mind? Yes. yes. No. Do well, you dream, dream in German? In languages, so. <laughs> can I see what images I can perceive then? Uh, yes. Because I perceived you... the images when I was in, uh, in Jeff's mind. You can, yes. You... So as you delve into Jamie's mind, you see uh, images of um, a, a lovely kitchen. You see images of a sort of warehouse where this balloon was. 
Uh, you see images of looking down on the uh, the sporting facilities as these giant hoses are turned on, and you see our cosibles being sucked up inside, um, and you see a shadowy figure in a chair uh, wearing a sharp red suit. Um, Ron Burgundy. So I presume his office smells of <laughs> leather-bound books and rich mahogany. Rich right? mahogany, yes. Um, it smells of sex panther, and <laughs> it stings the nostrils. It's illegal uh, in nine countries. To be fair, <laughs> Giovanni from Pokemon does have like cats and stuff like that Who? around yeah. him. So Who? It works. from what? Who? Who? What? What? Hmm? what are you talking about? References. Hmm? Um, they made a parody of this podcast. <laughs> That I listened to. <laughs> what a strange, uh, out of the blue reference, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. How? What, what's the connection there? Balls. Oh, yeah. Purr, Alex. Oh. You mind in the, and the red suit? <laughs> yeah. Look, just because we're both wearing t-shirts that say "balls" on them yeah, in big letters true. does not mean that you get to make connections. Yeah, we have two balls <laughs> on each of our t-shirts. It's true. We do it's on the front and the back. One on the front and one on the back. It's a bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what? The one on the back's a bit bigger, so yeah. Starting to jingle when I walk now. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, uh yeah, Malrus, you see this figure and you see the image of a very fancy looking house and some gates with security guards stood outside. Ooh. And there's a post box that says Georg Varney on it. <laughs> 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 Georg. But you don't know it says that because you don't read Orc. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, do I would I recognise the location of this fancy house? Yeah, would we have uh, travelled past it before on our no. way to oh. the stadium? No, you've not seen this. Uh, you've not seen this house before. Okay, that's what all I need you, to know. What else would you look like to look for though? Because he's surely got memories of like you know the the attack and like flying the balloon. You could probably glean something from that. I say uh, go even is deeper. Any information about this boss? Yeah. Is that does he do you come go on, Malrus? A picture of the boss. Come on, go in, Malrus. Whilst I'm in here, don't just use breathe <laughs> rummaging around in his What's mind. What's his bank account number and sort code? Is there anything that I can glean? You probe deeper into my mind. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Go balls deep, all the way to the hinge end. Is there any path that I can determine to get to the fancy house from where we are now? From is there any path you can determine? Well, like from like a, a balloon bird's eye view. Oh, nice. From recognising their journey in the hot air balloon from wherever they came from, would he have, like, sort of leant out and went, ooh, that's the boss's house. And <laughs> he totally is the kind of guy that would as well. Yeah. yeah. I could see the uh, boss's house from here. <laughs> Shut up, Jamie. Um, <laughs> bro- um, yes, that's well, that's so, so <laughs> wicked. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. So, oh, in... <laughs> The memories that you're floating around in, you come across one where you see your your Jamie and they're floating around in this uh, stolen hot air balloon uh, in the shape of a mouse's head, um, and you see there's a uh, there's a sort of uh, a nameplate on the inside of the hot air balloon. Um, if found, Kath, you would recognise if you saw this that it says "Property of Kyle." Yeah, <laughs> Incorporated, <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's Balloons Limited, um, built by Great Great Granddaddy Kyle. Yeah. So yeah. That, was that a rental? <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand what anyone's saying, but at uh, one point you do. You do see um, that Jamie. They look over the side and see a very fancy lo- looking part of town with uh, very large houses as sort of a boulevard if you will um with you know ordinarily on a street you'd expect to see several hundred sort of houses built on this block but uh what you from what you can see there's maybe half a dozen can i recognize where it is in relation to the stadium uh you tell me that's that's got to be a that's an intelligence check i can't tell you whether you recognize something yeah intelligence this is proper D and Ding. This way, yeah, no, yeah. well, I've got I like nothing it. to intelligence, so let's just let's just roll. I mean, go ahead. I like to roll anyway with. because I get a lot of pluses this episode. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> a lot of natural thirties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> mm. 
that that's 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 a six. Yeah, no, you can't you can't work out where that is in relation to the stadium. Oh, Malice, no, I'm sorry. I'll take them. Um... You'd recognise it if you saw it, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. If you saw it again, you'd know where it was. Okay. I'm sure, somebody on the island would know where that part of town is. And point us in that okay, direction. I'm, I'm done in the head now. I'm going to leave. <laughs> Close your door all the way out. <laughs> Malrus, come back to us, mate. Malrus, you're doing that. Malrus has now pulled that. Uh, okay, as you as you exit Jamie's head, uh, they they sort of start and then vomit. Oh, Malrus, man. you're doing that starey thing. You come back to us, mate. Come on, mate. What? He's glassy eyed. Ow. What? Malrus, why is your oh. tongue in his ear? <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain later. That was the strangest feeling. Oh, uh. I'm just going to turn to them and go, are you okay? Oh, shit. No, you don't. Uh. Look, look, we just, I just, I mean, Jesse, I don't know what you think, but I think, that, I mean, we don't have an escape route. My house seems to have legged it. I think if we just split the Akosa balls 50-50, you keep half, we take half, we can go our separate ways. Everyone's happy. Fuck Malice no, dude. Said. Fuck no, dude. Are the Acosa spheres in a bag somewhere or like in a giant Hessian sack, as I said? Two of them. Can I pick that up and try and fly with my wings? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if my uh, wings are... You can certainly try. Okay. Nice. I've got um, wings. I might as well see if they work. Fair. Yeah. I mean, if I'm a wing Tarask, I mean, come on. We'll see We'll see what Jeff does first. So what, what do you want to roll for first, James? You can pick up a sack. Excellent. Time. I might not have Tesco been as Jeff. Um, 18. As you pick up these sacks, the, uh, you sort of turn and you look towards the sky <laughs> and these little tiny wings on your back start flapping away. Come on, come on. Come on. And a downdraft, a downwash starts filling the ground and paper and crisp, crisp packets and <laughs> programs crisp from packets. today's <laughs> events. Uh, little plastic cups from people who wanted to take their drink away from the bar. Yeah, some of those paper straws that have now sort of like wilted because of all the liquid. Yeah, and lots of that. And, stuff. and yeah. they start blowing around everywhere. Um, the little spotty, sticky child is still there with his single rose <laughs> petals flying off it. I imagine there's a lot of betting slips and stuff going past yeah. as well. Yeah, betting slips are going past. Um, <laughs> and you do take off. <sighs> you get a hole oh. two inches off the ground. <laughs> and then a 6.9 magnitude earthquake breaks out <laughs> and the city is destroyed. <laughs> um, do, wow. I, do I move any distance? Yes, it's glorious. That, that two inches is the limit of your aerial abilities. Fly, my pretty. I just want to see if I can get higher jumping. Uh, yes, um, I mean, yeah, you can definitely jump. Um, Jeff, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna turn. To... It might be a shockwave. I'm taking these balls away because the fifty-fifty option sounded like shit to me. And also, you know, now we've got a hundred percent of them. So excellent. Quids in, We're never gonna let these guys get away no. with it anyway. Fuck, we're man. giving these back, Derek. Uh, since since this has gone on for a little while, uh, I Jeff... won't argue with you, Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> not like this. <laughs> oh. Can you roll sixteen d six, please? Hang on. On melted. I've got a few over. more out after last time, so it should um, be a bit easier to tell. Can I look around while he's doing this to see if I see Officer Benny anywhere? Uh, yeah. Roll um, perception. Uh, I want to do something after this as well. I need to look for something. What before. are you looking for? <laughs> the JML testing with toast face. And why are you looking for that? Uh, because I haven't seen it in Jeff's hands. Are you looking he... for it because I brought it up? I know that he had it. Mm-hmm. And do you he have any reason me... to suppose he doesn't have it? Well, he hasn't got any pockets. <laughs> Forty-one. <laughs> uh, okay. <Yep. laughs> Yay! <laughs> All of you. Yes. I, yeah. Wicked. I got that. I got okay. that, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> so it was Maurice laughing. That's fine. <laughs> and in, in investigation, I get plus three. So fourteen with a fourteen. Oh, he's going to be uh, really cruel now. Well, you gave him a bullshit reason. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's I not know, got any really pockets. <laughs> it flew. I hadn't got any like pockets you. beforehand, mate. I'm not going to lie. That's <laughs> true. Well, there's always one. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. You're undermining yeah, you, my incredibleness. 
<laughs> you uh, you don't see the JML toasting at toast face. Oh, okay. In the immediate uh, vicinity. I rolled a 16. Do I see Officer Benny? Uh, yes, you do. Uh, uh, Officer Benny is trying to uh, corral the crowds to uh, a safe exit from the plaza. Right. Um, I think he... Uh, I w- I'm going to turn to Keth if he's like looking around on the ground for whatever reason. I'm going to turn to Keth. I'm just going to go, Keth. There's a dog there as well. <laughs> that's the wolf. The that's that's dog. Officer Benny's wolf. Yeah. 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 Officer Benny's wolf is <laughs> oh, barking wolf. at the crowd. Wicked. Um, I'm sure the wolf could do that on its own. They're quite well trained, Keth. We need Officer Benny yes. over here. These two uh, need to be come into custody with us, um, and then they can take it from there. They could probably tell us where where that boss's house is. You know, located. Excellent. I'll just go and get him, Officer Benny. Back, back, everyone, back. Please proceed safely to the exits. Officer Please Benny, say there is an emergency situation. Do not fear. We have everything under control. The constabulary is all at hand. We have dealt with the immediate problem of the icosasphere theft. We are now dealing with the current situation of the fuck off monster that is here. <laughs> Officer Benny, get it sorted. Officer Benny, Officer very Benny. presently. <laughs> oh, Officer Benny. gods, it's you. Good, good news. What? Please tell me that you have found a way to get rid of this gigantic monster that is terrifying the paying customers and participants of the tournament alike. Oh, he's fine. He belongs to me. He's just misunderstood. He belongs but- to you? <laughs> yes, he's misunderstood. Look. Well, why was he screaming Jeff Silverbow at the crowds just now? Because he was saying, we've found the criminals, Team Shuttle. They're over here. Well, of we've course it's Team Shuttle. It's always bloody Team Shuttle. Well, come and arrest them. <sighs> fine. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry for the inconvenience of having to arrest a criminal. I mean, I'm on crowd control here. Can you not see that? Hey, puppy. I didn't realise your ro- your motto was to protect and swerve. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Maurus, see if you can talk to his dog. Get the dog to walk him over here. <laughs> what? What? We could talk really to is right go, Simon. <laughs> oh, Officer Benny uh, uh, does follow you, Kev, back to the... Never mind, he's on his way over Team Shuttle. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to sit down over here, Kev? I'll do that. Jeff's just going to sit down like a dog in the corner. Dum. <laughs> oh, Jeff. Bloody hell. Jeff, do you still have my lighter? No. Look Where at is Jeff. Why the fuck would I need a lighter? No, I, Where did you put I'm it? I'm going to curl up like a little dog ball. Where oh, did you put it? It's on the floor over there somewhere. I don't know. Could I you, dropped it. Could you point? No. With your tail? I don't know. A lot of stuff's happened. Basket was there. Now it's not. Well, it's sort of smushed. People were here. Now they're not. Lighters could be anywhere, Kef. I can't help you, mate. I'm massive. Check it out. I'm quite tired, though. I'm going to have a little nap here. Night. I'm just going to curl up Th- like a little thanks, dog. Thanks, Jeff. Being pigs tuckered him all out, hasn't it? Oh, <laughs> oh! It was a big day for him. <laughs> Officer, here they are. Look, yeah, you know, he turned into a giant tarasque with butterfly wings. <laughs> Officer Benny is um, is just sort of uh, starting to arrest Jesse and Jamie <laughs> when out of the shadows Ooh. jumps Mouse, and he says, "Not so fast." Team Shuttle! Um, and he's holding two grenades. Roll initiative, everyone. Excellent. Ooh. I'm going to sit this one out for the first couple of rounds, if that's okay, just because I'm asleep as far as the story is yeah, concerned. Yeah, but you're the biggest and the yeah, most well, badass. Yeah, I know, but it would take a, it seemingly would take a lot to wake up to Rascal. You know, I'm, I suspect I'm, it would, I'm yeah. committed yeah. to the story here. It's like Sorry. Snorlax, you know? Yeah. Who? What? <laughs> Unless anyone's got a flute. Uh... <laughs> oh, it's true. Yeah, yeah. We've got um, a chicken whistle. Yeah, we do have a chicken whistle. Oh. To be fair, <laughs> are you calling me a chicken, Derek? <laughs> Someone wants to get <laughs> swallowed. <laughs> hey, do you want to say hello to the orc? No, uh, sorry, is that a euphemism? <laughs> is that a euphemism? <laughs> um, um, it can be. 14, okay. to be. I got uh, initiative. 14. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, got 15. Can you imagine the deafening 15. roar of a? a t- you asked for it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
<laughs> right. It's Maus's go first. He rolled a 19. Mm-hmm. Oh. And he lobs both grenades uh, in Derek's direction. Uh, I'm, uh, cool. No! Uh, I'm going to... Uh, essentially, re- I don't know how turns <laughs> stack up, but my, my intention is to okay. dive onto these grenades anyway. There you go, James. Okay. Sink them in. Uh, does a 15 hit? Uh, no, it does not. Oh. Uh, so these two grenades bounce off your rocky surface. Mm-hmm. And... They both land at the feet of Jesse and Jamie. Um, okay. And they both look down. They both look down and they look at each other, look down at these two grenades that have landed at their feet. And they look, give each other this knowing look, sigh, an explosion rips through the air and they are sent flying into the air, soaring higher and higher as their voices Doppler into insignificance as they shout, Looks like Team Shuttle's blasting off again! Ah, Derek, the old trampoline grenade. Someone's our little Jaff has now grown quite large. He gathers himself and slowly takes charge. The other bucks return, Jaff swallows an ogre. Derek joins the crowd as Kath tries to take over. Myrus gets brain licky and sees the boss man's mansion. Officer Benny doesn't like illegal stuff. Don't know if he mansions. Jeff's asleep in the corner. Mouse is not a friend. Some fail grenades deflect the wrong way, and Team Shuttle are off again. What will our bucks do now with this mouse-shaped bomb buddy here? Well, I guess you'll find out next time on Roll Britannia. Now then, you lot, we need your help. We need to make our piratical adventure simply the best D&D 5e podcast out there on the seven seas. So, we've decided to be very brave indeed and launch our own Roll Britannia Patreon page. And don't you worry, though we may be scoundrels and vagabonds in the shattered lands, we're certainly not going to be stealing your hard-earned booty to line our coffers. All of the money we raise will be ploughed right back into the show so we can be the best that we can be so what's in it for me i hear you say well there's a whole treasure chest worth to be had there's exclusive buccaneer prologues so that you can learn some of the secrets of our favorite heroes and where it all began you'll also be able to read the finest tabloid on the high seas the daily teledath you can get your hands on arc exclusive merchandise too that you won't find in our shop and the best part your very own handcrafted, beautifully made and totally unique piece of crap art drawn just for you by your favourite buccaneer. Just look out for Roll Britannia on Patreon.com or even easier, follow the links in our social media or Linktree pages and let us navigate the way for you. And worry not, the nautical antics of the Roll Britannia buccaneers will still be available every Wednesday as usual absolutely free. After all, we certainly wouldn't want any of our amazing and loyal fans to be spending any more than they can afford. We wouldn't have got anywhere that you and all the other awesome fans out there. So, with your help and your support, you, yes, you, can make this show even better. Do you suffer from chronic storytelling dysfunction? Do you find you're overrun with trite tropes and cliche character patterns? Well, you're not alone. In my old age, I was tired of boring stories, but thanks to Dice Chronicles, I feel young again. If you suffer from a lack of creative world building or one-dimensional character development, Dice Chronicles may be just what you need. My characters always felt flat and unable to perform, but with Dice Chronicles, I'm not afraid of being my true self. Before I started listening to Dice Chronicles, I felt so alone in my hunger, but now I'm a first-rate villain. Dice Chronicles gave me a purpose. But most importantly, it gave me a terrible French accent. Hi, I'm Yarn, and before Dice Chronicles, I used to be terrified of magic. But now, after just a few episodes, I've got magic pouring out of my eyeballs. I used to suffer from crippling anxiety, but thanks to Dice Chronicles, now I only suffer from anxiety from going on an adventure with my friends. Dice Chronicles is not responsible for rolling natural ones, TPKs, or the general feeling that our characters are better than yours. Ask your DM today if Dice Chronicles is right for you. 
Find us at podbean.com or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Sports Social Podcast Network. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.